Hello, welcome. Let's solve this together. We're dealing with a piecewise function. It's a function where different domains in the graph behave differently. So the equation to determine the weekly earnings of an, of an employee at the hamburger shack is given by W of X, where X is the number of hours worked. So determine the difference in salary and dollars for an employee who works 52 hours versus one who works 38 hours. All right, so um, W of X equals 10X when x is between 0 and 40, this is the same. So I'm going to use this equation for the employee who works 38 hours. So w of 38 is going to equal 10 times 38, and that is $380. Okay. For an employee who works 52 hours, we use the second equation, because that, we use this equation when x is greater than 40. So 15 times 52 minus 40 plus 400 equals 15 times 12, right, oops, 15 times 12 plus 400, and that's 580. So 580 minus 380 is $200. That's the difference between the two employees. Determine the number of hours an employee must work in order to earn $445. Explain how you arrived at this answer. All right, so we're trying to earn uh, $445. I'm just going to notice that uh, that amount of money is between um, 10x, uh, excuse, between 380 and 580. So the number of hours you have to work, well, what does that mean? Well, if you're working more than 40 hours, you fall into the second category here. If you're working less than 40 hours, you work Less than or equal to 40 hours, we're in the first category. So which category do we have to fit in to earn $445? Let's try the maximum value for x in the first category. The highest value x can be is when x is 40. And that would be 10 times 40. What's up? I was making videos. All right, so if you plug in 40, the highest value in this interval, what we get is 10 times 40 or 400. So we haven't reached 445, so we try the next category. Um, so we're going to basically use this equation, the next equation, which is uh, 15 times x minus 40 uh, plus 400. And we want to know, when does this equal 445? Let's solve for x. So if we solve for x in this equation, we get 15x. We're going to multiply 15 by x and 15 times negative 40. Um, and 15 times 40 is 600 minus 600, right, plus 400 equals 445, and negative 600 plus 400 is minus 200, so we get this equals 445. We add 200 to both sides, and 15x equals 645, and do the division here, we get 645 divided by 15, and we get 43 hours. You have to work 43 hours. You can plug in 43. Back into this equation to check it to get $445. All right. Hope this helped.